I said I said it already, but I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Um, Phase Banks. So let's go to Phase Banks page real quick. I want I want to I want to say like uh, because let me see. There is Banks. I want I want to show y'all something. If we got if we can hurry up and do this. Um, this right here. If you don't know, there's some shit going on on the internet right now where people are ex supposedly exposing Sketch. Sketch used to do some OnlyFans work before he became Sketch, and he was doing he was dibble dabbling in the in the rainbow section of shit, doing shit, which is not my motherfucking business at all. It's not mine at all. So he left that behind, and he seen that he was getting right on the video games, created a character, doing all this type of stuff. Getting big, being in TV shows, this, this, and that, all uh, announcing Texans and shit like that, and niggas want to go do their, you know, find out where where they do. But I never seen this many niggas worried about another man's dick in my life. Oh, he did only fans. He, oh my God, he's a sex worker. All this dumb shit, just like putting everything that he's done, he's done. Aside and then comparing them to Dr. Disrespect, it's weird. It's weirdo shit. When that news broke last night, I seen that FaZe Banks said that, that this was uh, a video of him leave, leaving the FaZe house in the middle of the night or whatnot. And he left his glasses and his shoes there or whatnot. Um... And then I read this shit. You awake? I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to get you guys involved, bro. What you mean? You are a boy. You didn't have. You didn't have to dip. You know, basically, he's telling him that you know you ain't had to roll out. You, I know you don't know how to deal with the shit that you're dealing with right now, but you are. You are, dude. We don't give a fuck about what you, what you, what you be doing or nothing like that, man. You still, you, you a human being, right? Told him to come back. All this other stuff. He said, I come, I come now, I just needed some, someone to talk to. All this other stuff. Now, Sketch went live um, today and he talked about it. And he kind of got emotional when he was talking about it. And he was talking about how, you know, um, he was talking about how uh, if nobody was home, if he ain't had nobody to talk to and if nobody was home, he was basically saying how he was going to kill himself. He said he was going to bite a bullet. So this would have been the last picture you would have seen of him. And that's crazy. The scene with that dude been doing on the internet, you know, just been doing on the internet and hanging out and being nothing but positive and shit like that. And then they, they, they try to they ridicule that motherfucker for some past shit that happened. That's fucking weird. That's weird. There's nobody teaching these fucking kids on the internet no more, man. They all hide behind anime uh, uh, pictures. Sorry, Tafu, I don't mean to involve you in this, but that's not you. I, I've seen, I've seen your, your uh, TikTok page. You, you all right? You good? But what I'm saying is the the weird ones. These are weird people. These are some weird motherfuckers, man. That dude was saying that he was getting ready to off himself. Because of what came out. And he didn't know how to deal with the shit that came out. That's weird. I can't believe. I can't believe that, that there's fucking. Human beings out there. That just don't use their fucking brain of logic and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I seen this. on While I was, while I was watching wrestling. I seen this right here. I wanted to see what Kyle was talking about in this. Why do you. Why do, why do people care so much. Bro. Right? And it's grown men. Chad, if I go on my Twitter right now, I will literally show y'all full bearded niggas like, yo, God, this shit is crazy. Like, let me know. Like, and I'm like, bro, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I understand that a lot, it'd be, be shocking to a lot of people, but bro, I'm not going to lie, bro, to say like mean shit about the nigga and shit is crazy. You feel me? Like, I see that he said it was like, it's past and shit. And um, whether it was, was or not, bro, I'm not going to lie. This is how I view the situation. You feel what I'm saying? Why does something that somebody else do get you so mad to the point where you gotta go on the internet and bully the nigga? Like, it's that. 
That that's that yeah. Say that. crazy shit. You would think that this nigga murdered somebody. Like, like bro. Like, you feel me? Like, you would think the nigga murdered somebody by the way niggas is is talking, bro. And it's like, bro, what the fuck? Like, we I got chat. This is the thing, bro. Like, me personally, I'm not in no space to judge anybody for what they do or what they have done. You feel me? That's not me. That's not my body, bro. I can't do that. Well, know why? Because I'm human, nigga. I'm human. We are human, nigga. Like, nigga, we are not perfect. We're not. You feel what I'm saying? WPR training is not even about PR training, bro. And like, you see, you see that shit that he just read. He read that comment that said WPR training. It be niggas like that that be writing shit in the chats and shit. They try either they trying to be like funny or they actually. Don't believe that this is a real sincere shit that he's talking about. And there's, there's real people that do that. But anyway, let's get back to, let's get back to wrestling, man. I, I, yeah, man, let's get back to wrestling.